Hello, everyone, I'm excited to have you with me today. In this video, we're going to explore a topic that's a game changer for your financial future. How to achieve financial freedom with stock dividends. Financial freedom, it's a goal many of us dream about. It's the ability to live life on your terms, free from the constraints of financial worries. Now, while there's no one-size-fits-all path to financial freedom, there are strategies and tools that can pave the way. And one such powerful tool is stock dividends. Stock dividends are a fascinating way to grow your wealth and achieve financial freedom. They have a rich history of helping investors accumulate and diversify their assets. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting on your financial journey, understanding stock dividends is essential. In this video, we'll dive deep into what stock dividends are, their benefits, how to select the right dividend stocks, and the strategies to build a diversified portfolio that can ultimately set you on the path to financial freedom. So, if you're ready to take control of your financial future and explore the incredible world of stock dividends, you're in the right place. Whether your goal is early retirement, a comfortable retirement, or just achieving financial security, the insights you'll gain here will be invaluable. Stock dividends, also known as stock splits or bonus shares, are a way for companies to distribute a portion of their profits to shareholders in the form of additional shares of the company's stock. It's like getting a piece of the pie when a company decides to share its success with you. Now, it's important to differentiate between stock dividends and cash dividends. While cash dividends provide shareholders with cash payments, stock dividends offer additional shares. For example, if you own 100 shares of a company's stock and it declares a 10% stock dividend, you'll receive an additional 10 shares. Stock dividends have a rich history in the world of finance. They've played a crucial role in helping investors accumulate wealth and diversify their assets. In fact, some of the world's most successful investors have benefited from stock dividends as a part of their investment strategy. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. In the sections to come, we'll delve deeper into the benefits of stock dividends, how to select the right dividend stocks, and the strategies to build a diversified portfolio that can pave the way for financial freedom. Now that we've established what stock dividends are, let's dive into why they're such a powerful tool on your journey to financial freedom. Stock dividends come with a range of benefits, making them a valuable asset in your investment portfolio. One of the primary advantages is that they provide you with a consistent source of passive income. Unlike the unpredictable nature of capital gains, dividends offer regular payouts, which can be especially appealing for those seeking financial security. But the beauty of stock dividends doesn't stop there. They have the potential to grow over time through a phenomenon called compounding. When you reinvest your dividends by purchasing more shares, you're effectively allowing your wealth to snowball. Over the years, this can lead to a significant increase in the value of your investment. Stock dividends also offer financial security and stability, which is crucial when building your path to financial freedom. They can provide you with a consistent income stream even during market downturns. It's like having a financial safety net that helps you weather economic storms. So, why is this essential for your financial freedom journey? Well, think about it. As you accumulate more dividend-paying stocks and let your dividends reinvest, you're creating a snowball effect that can set you on the path to financial independence. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme, but rather a steady and reliable way to achieve your long-term financial goals. Now that we understand the benefits of dividend stocks, the next step on our path to financial freedom is knowing how to choose the right ones. When it comes to selecting dividend stocks, there are specific criteria you should consider. It all starts with a company's financial health. You'll want to invest in companies with a strong balance sheet, low debt levels, and consistent revenue growth. These are indicators of a company's ability to continue paying dividends. Next, 
Pay close attention to a company's dividend history. Look for businesses that have a track record of steadily increasing or at least maintaining their dividend payments. This history is a sign of financial discipline and commitment to shareholders. Beyond that, assess the company's growth prospects. Consider whether it's in an industry with room for expansion or innovation. Companies with a potential for future growth are more likely to increase their dividends over time. To make informed decisions, research is your best friend. Dive into a company's financial statements, read annual reports, and keep an eye on news and industry trends. Reliable sources of information can help you uncover valuable insights about potential investments. Remember, choosing dividend stocks is about a balance of risk and reward. It's about finding companies that not only pay dividends but also have the ability to keep doing so in the long run. Now that you know how to choose the right dividend stocks, the next key step on your path to financial freedom is building a diversified dividend portfolio. Diversification is like the foundation of a strong building, it provides stability and resilience. When it comes to your investment portfolio, diversification means spreading your investments across different sectors, industries, and asset classes. This approach helps you manage risk and reduces the impact of a downturn in a particular sector. By diversifying, you're effectively reducing the risk of having all your eggs in one basket. Imagine if all your investments were in a single industry and that industry faced a sudden downturn. It could have a significant negative impact on your portfolio. Diversification helps mitigate this risk. One of the key benefits of a diversified dividend portfolio is stability. While some investments may experience fluctuations, others can provide stability or even growth during challenging times. A diversified approach helps you maintain a consistent source of income from your dividends. When building your diversified portfolio, consider sectors and industries that align with your financial goals. This might include sectors like technology, healthcare, consumer goods, or real estate. Each sector has its unique characteristics and risk profiles, so it's essential to do your research. Remember, a diversified dividend portfolio isn't about haphazardly scattering your investments. It's a deliberate strategy aimed at achieving your financial objectives while managing risk effectively. Now that you've built a diversified dividend portfolio, the next crucial step on your journey to financial freedom is understanding the power of reinvesting your dividends for growth. Reinvesting dividends is like planting seeds in your financial garden. Instead of taking your dividend payouts in cash, you use them to buy more shares of the same dividend-paying stocks. This process is often automated through dividend reinvestment plans, DRIPs, offered by many companies and brokerage firms. The magic of reinvesting dividends lies in the concept of compounding. When you reinvest your dividends, you're not just earning on your initial investment but on your previous dividends as well. Over time, this compounding effect can lead to significant growth in the value of your investment. Compound interest is your best friend in the world of finance. It's like a snowball that starts small but grows as it rolls downhill. Over the long term, reinvesting dividends can make a substantial difference in your overall wealth. One of the keys to successful dividend reinvestment is having a long-term perspective. It's about patience and discipline. The benefits of reinvesting dividends may not be immediately evident, but over time, they can be substantial. The beauty of reinvesting dividends is that it allows you to supercharge your portfolio's growth without needing to invest more of your own money. It's a powerful strategy that aligns perfectly with your goal of financial freedom. As we continue our journey towards financial freedom with stock dividends, it's crucial to recognize and address the potential risks and challenges involved. First and foremost, like any investment strategy, dividend investing is not without its risks. Market volatility, economic downturns, and company-specific risks can impact the performance of your dividend stocks. 
it's important to be prepared for periods of uncertainty. Market volatility can lead to fluctuations in stock prices, affecting the overall value of your portfolio. It's essential to understand that while dividend stocks can provide stability, they are not immune to market swings. Economic factors, such as interest rates and inflation, can also affect your dividend investments. Changes in the economic landscape can impact a company's ability to maintain or grow its dividend payments. To mitigate these risks, it's important to diversify your portfolio, as we discussed earlier. Diversification helps spread risk across different investments and sectors, reducing the impact of adverse market conditions. Additionally, having a long-term perspective is a crucial strategy. Market fluctuations are a part of investing, but historically, over the long term, markets tend to grow. Staying committed to your investment strategy can lead to success. As we delve deeper into the world of dividend investing and financial freedom, it's essential to understand the tax implications that come with it. Dividend income is generally subject to taxation, and the rate at which it's taxed can vary depending on your country of residence and the specific tax laws that apply to you. It's crucial to be aware of these tax regulations and how they may impact your investment returns. In some countries, dividends are classified as qualified or non-qualified. Qualified dividends often receive a more favorable tax treatment with lower tax rates. Non-qualified dividends may be subject to your ordinary income tax rate, which could be higher. To optimize your tax situation, consider investing in tax-advantaged accounts such as individual retirement accounts, IRAs, or similar vehicles available in your country. These accounts can offer tax benefits, allowing your investments to grow more efficiently. Tax laws are complex and subject to change so it's advisable to consult with a tax professional who can help you navigate the intricacies of dividend taxation. They can provide guidance on strategies to minimize your tax liability while still enjoying the benefits of dividend income. Understanding the tax implications of dividend investing is vital to preserving your investment returns and achieving financial freedom. It's a key aspect of sound financial planning. We've covered a lot on this journey towards financial freedom with stock dividends, and it's time to wrap it up. Throughout this video, we explored the world of stock dividends, the five characteristics of good companies to invest in, the benefits of dividend stocks, and the strategies to choose and manage them effectively. We discussed the importance of diversifying your portfolio to reduce risk and how reinvesting dividends can supercharge your wealth over time. We also touched on the potential risks and challenges of dividend investing and the critical aspect of tax considerations. But now, let's focus on the big picture. Achieving financial freedom is not an overnight feat, it's a marathon, not a sprint. It's about setting long-term goals, building a solid investment strategy, and staying committed to your financial plan. Stock dividends can be a valuable tool in your journey towards financial freedom. They offer consistent income, growth potential, and the opportunity to compound your wealth over time. But it's essential to remember that investing involves risks and may not be suitable for everyone. The key is to stay informed, adapt to changing circumstances, and seek professional advice when needed. Keep in mind that financial freedom is not just about accumulating wealth. It's about having the freedom to make choices that align with your values and goals. So, as we conclude this video, I encourage you to continue your financial education, refine your investment strategy, and stay focused on your path to financial freedom. Your financial future is in your hands, and with the right knowledge and commitment, you can achieve the freedom you desire. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and I look forward to sharing more insights on personal finance and investment strategies in the future. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay informed.
Until next time, stay committed to your financial goals and keep moving forward on the road to financial freedom.